everybody, I'm Christy. And I'm Brent. And we're two-thirds of Turning Veganese. We're on kind of a cider kick, and so we are going to continue on with a, a new cider that we've never tried before. Cider's pretty reliably gluten-free, and the only other question is whether or not it's vegan. And fortunately, we found another one from Brent's home state of Washington that does actually happen to be vegan. They don't use anything weird to um, clarify their cider, and so... Spire Mountain Cider. This is a dark and dry apple cider, and that tells us that it is, um, it's dark and, and dry. This concept excites me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's just crack this puppy open and we'll see how this goes. They make a lot of these bigger sizes, which are awesome if you like to split your beverage with your uh, best friend or significant other, or even a forlorn looking stranger. Um, it's a lot of cider. There is a there's a lot of cider in here. Yeah, it definitely smells good. It smells, it like, smells apple. like apples, which yeah, like apple pie. I would worry if it smelled like something else. It's gross. It's not as dried as I'd expected. It's a it's a little lighter in the mouth. It does have a full body, which is great if you want to do something just easy drinking. It kind of reminds me of. Um, a little bit more aptly like Martinelli's, the, the sparkling apple cider. So like you can't really taste the alcohol in it, which is a good thing. Even I can't taste it, which is saying something. <laughs> There's not a whole lot to it, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, it, it's mm -hmm. just, it is exactly what it is, which is a hard cider. It doesn't taste like apple juice. It doesn't taste artificial. It's a pretty tasty cider. Yeah, it's very light. It's very light in your mouth. It's very light in flavor. It's got a terrific aroma. Mm -hmm. uh, it'd be awesome with just some you know, corn chips. Like I've tasted some some pretty complex uh, ciders before, like some of them that try to make like, you know, strawberry, raspberry, and all sorts of other crazy mm -hmm. stuff. And you know, while those are good, sometimes it just kind of takes away from the flavor. That's really where this shines. It's exactly what it needs to be. Yeah, it's delicious. I would definitely give it a go, especially if you are a cider drinker. It might not be your thing if you're a beer drinker, unless you are a big fan of very, very, very light um, beers, like Coors Light or Bud Light, which, are not up my alley, but this is this is really nice. So yeah, if you can find Spire Mountain Draft Cider, dark and dry apple cider, give it a go. Yeah. It's pretty rad. Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, Spire Mountain Apple Cider, it's gluten-free, it's vegan, it's safe for us, and it tastes really good, and it'll probably get you drunk if you have a lot. I don't know a lot of alcohol that doesn't do that, but hey. So visit us on Facebook at Turning Veganese, check us out on Twitter at Turning Vegan, uh, like our blog, and don't hesitate to visit our about page so that you can write us an email at turningveganese.gmail.com with any uh, beverages you'd like to see us try or if you're looking for a perfect recipe for whatever your favorite sangria is that's vegan, we can try to cook that up for you too. No pun intended. I'm Christy. And I'm Brent. And we are signing off for Turning Veganese. Thank you so much for coming out. Can I have the rest of that? <laughs>